Howdy, howdy, this is Blue Otter. Today we're gonna be playing Dungeon Inn. This is a demo. So let's start a new game. Yeah, we're gonna start a new game. Casual. At least while I'm learning it, I see a map. We have Port City. And, okay. I'm sensing two rival factions. Who cares if they're rivals as long as we don't get caught? Okay, so we're selling to both sides. Selling potions, selling fish. Profit. And we dive into... Oh, we're brought before a dragon. That, that is a lot of gold. I like how the horns perfectly frame the, the group. Okay. Alright, so... Arguing sense of sensibilities. What if we make an inn that caters to both? We profit. Dragon's gonna think about it. Huge lanky contract that I'm sure won't be. Expect our investments will pay off big time. All right, we have Sarah. Some man in your mind, you've got that look on your face. That's Butter the cat. I had a cat that look, used to look like that. Oh, it's nothing. Okay, time to open shop. Voila. Hmm, it seems way too risky. And this is Bammy. Okay, interestingly enough, I had a red tabby and I had a black cat. Uh, red tabby was named as Feline and the black cat was named as Boo. Uh, but I think we'll find as long we'll be fine as long as no one catches on an end right in front of the dungeon One last opportunity to gear up before delving into those dangerous depths. How could any adventurers pass that up? It does seem intriguing. However, I'm pretty sure there's a reason no one's ever done it before Suppose the adventurers run into each other outside the inn. Then what if they find out we're working for both sides? That'll be the end of us So what we've got to do is make sure that doesn't happen It'll all work out in the end. The higher the risk, the higher the reward. Ugh, you. Also, if it weren't for Sarah, there never would have been a contract to begin with. I mean, you're not wrong, but... Oh man, should I just forget the contract and make a run for it? Don't sweat it, I'm sure we can pull it off. There's no way anyone's going to catch on during the first month. Besides, we won't have that many guests right from the get-go. So it's worth a shot. Yeah, first month sounds like tutorial. And who knows, we might make a killing if our clients are big shots. We could strike some serious gold here. Oh, count me in. Well, I suppose no one's going to notice right from the start. Uh, week one, between excitement and anxiety. Alright, so turn one. We have this week's gold, Seaside. Welcome to Dungeon Inn. At least eight adventurers from the Seaside Guild must visit the inn. Mountainside, welcome to Dungeon Inn. At least eight visitors from Mountain Guild must visit the end. Uh, they must not run into each other. Adventurers from the Mountain Guild and Seaside Guilds must not run into each other at the entrance of the end. Uh, no battles occur between adventurers. So there is our... Okay, it's not... We don't, we don't pick one. It's just those are the three goals. So we want for eight from each side. And they can't interact. Uh, this is bad, right? They might start fighting as soon as we open the inn. It'll be fine. It doesn't look like both sides are looking to stay here. Well, isn't that a bigger problem if nobody wants to stay at the inn? We should put up a sign. The signboard is now available for use. Okay. Place installation. You can influence adventures by placing structures on the side of the road. Keep in mind that installation and upkeep times may vary between installations. Those affected by the sign by the signboard will visit the inn. The wisps are needed to set up facilities. The line at the top of the screen lets you know what the wisps are doing and when they'll be available again at the inn. For installation that will be place during this turn you can cancel their placement anytime before moving on to the next turn 
this might be a good idea to install the signboard near the entrance. So we have a signboard. And okay, it's gonna tell me to place it right here. The signboard makes adventurers want to stay at the end. So what do we do now? We should see how the guests are doing. Once you finalize your decisions, you can click on the play button to move on to the next turn. If you haven't yet moved onto the next turn, you can always reverse your decisions for this turn. Okay, so I believe that is to execute. All right, how will we know if an adventurer wants to come in or not? A sixth sense, superior skills of observation. You mean the scent of money. If, it just, if an adventurer is interested in staying at the end, the end sign or the, the bed sign icon is displayed. You can click on the adventurer on the map for more information. Guests leave the inn after one day. Each lodge can accommodate guests based on the number of beds available. Take note that when no beds are available, you can't take any more guests until the next day. So what do we do next? Uh, not really sure. There's not much we can do for the time being. So let's just see what happens. Okay, so we're going to execute that again. Uh, for best results, cleanliness and inspections are a must. We also can't use... We can't use the signboard again right away. There's nothing to do right now. So what do we do? Hmm. Ah, that's right. Where's the stall? In storage. Why? Wouldn't we be able to make more money if we sold food outside? The food stall is available for use. All right. You can use the food stall to sell food to passing adventurers to earn money. When adventurers use the stall, their foot is reduced. Try placing the food stall where there are a lot of adventurers. Oh, so I guess just here? Okay, so we execute that, I think. So what do we need to do? The inn is now open. We should probably start by receiving guests. We need a minimum of eight guests on each side. And don't let them figure out what we're up to. Oh, right. Nothing's more important than keeping this under wraps. So there are goals that each that need to be achieved for each stage. Aside from earning rewards for each goal, you can no longer stay in business if you fail to do so. Keep this in mind. Shall we place the signboard on the road that the Mountain Guild adventurers take? Aren't there more adventurers on the Seaside's Guild? Uh, we're out of beds on that side, so we can't take any more Seaside guests. So we do this, we place a signboard here. I guess, and then execute. All right, let's check out today's haul. So in Dungeon Inn, a day consists of four turns. When the day is over, the guests settle their bills and head out to the dungeon. While it's important to make money, it's also important that the Dungeon Inn's name get the dungeon's name out there. When fame increases, more adventurers will visit the inn and events they can help the operation the end may occur so we have different creatures um, do we click on I don't know what we're supposed to do Oh, maybe I just hit next. All right. Day two. Energy drink, what for? We need to take the signboard down soon. We do? 
<laughs> Adventurers who drink these will be able to move faster and go farther, right? That means more of them will get to see the sign ward while it's up. Which in turn means more adventurers will come to the inn. Oh, I get it. Not a bad idea. Energy drink is available for use. Adventures affected by the energy drink will gain increase. Okay, that the foot is the increased movement. Yes, we should place the signboard. Okay, that's in use. So we have I feel like we're only doing one side at a time. That may be true. Uh, ah, a lucky wheel. I'm really good at spinning these things. Wait, what's this for? Maybe we could keep the adventurers distracted. We might be able to buy ourselves some time. Perhaps, but do we have something we can give out as a prize? We have a lot of stuff in storage, loads of inventory. But we can't just give that all away. We'll go broke. If we make it big here, we won't need it anymore. Come on, say something, butter. Butter's drinking out of the butter. Does make sense, doesn't it? I say we go all in since we've already come this far. Uh, the lucky wheel is available for use. While a lucky wheel is in place, the adventurers cannot pass beyond that row. So, if we do maybe this side, it stops them. I know I was probably supposed to do the other side. Uh, but I was also wanting to do like the signboard there. And we could do maybe food right there. Oh, that's going to be good for them. Uh, we'll do this. I don't know if... Yeah, I, I did not do as well on that. But they didn't meet each other. Alright, day three. Um, it's prairie, preparing. I don't think I can do anything. What are all these notes for? You writing a book? Ah, uh, just all the things that happened so far. Okay, supports autosave stage, quick load features. This current state is recorded at the first turn of every day, and you could start from the first turn of any day. However, there's only one memory per one memory slot per day. Take note that if you go back in time, your current memories will be overwritten by new memories. All right, so we're going to put a sign here. And we'll do that. Um, all right, enough, vis enough adventures from the Seaside Guild visited the end. Okay, so we've had eight of those the coffee smells really good i know right but it look but it may not look it but we use high quality coffee grounds in the end there are various facilities such as cafes each time an adventurer uses these facilities you earn additional income which is settled when they check out you can see which ad adventurers visited which facilities in the past turn for each property through the menu Of 
food stall. And we can do... Okay, I don't think I can do that one. Let's... Alright. But I really need... Put that there. I did not have anybody from Mountain Guild, but now I can focus on the Mountain Guild. Adventurer Grade. Each adventure is classified as Novice, Expert, or Master. The higher the rank of the adventure visiting the end, the greater the benefits you earn, whether it's money or fame. Okay. We're gonna put the sign out here because I really need, I really need people. Um, here we can do. Uh, yeah, we're going to speed y'all up. gonna put that out but we're gonna put out a food stall I can't believe it's been nearly a week already let's try getting as many guests as we can That should be enough for each, yeah, each adventurer from the Mountain Guild, vi guild visited the inn. Um, we can do... Let's put it over on this side because they'll be able to go through and we can give that there. Fortunately, we were able to avoid any fighting. Week one, another successful week. Done. Looks like we made it through the first week. I was so scared that fi a fight would break out. Uh, see, I told you it would all work out. Of course. I have to say, we did pretty alright, considering we barely prepared anything. Hence, Wispy. You're taking note of all of our achievements, both big and small, right? That being said, with a bit more support, we might be able to boost our sales. Maybe we could talk a bit later? All right, week one results. We had 19 people stay. 408 gold, it looks like. And it looks like we got more varied response on the mountainside. Uh, it looks like we'll be getting a bit more support. What do you think we need? Hmm, how about more rooms? We could have more guests that way. I say we add a pub. Pubs and inns go so well together. You sure you're not looking to, to get a drink on as if. Hmm. Let's do both. If we do as Bammy says, we'll be able to accommodate more guests. But if we do as Butter says, we might get more attention of more adventures. 
That will also get our customers to open their wallets, not to mention pubs have killer profit margins. Yeah, that's why restaurants go out of business all the time. Maybe it's time to talk a bit more with the Wisps. You can add a regular pub in the lodges of the sea in Mount Gedge. You can have a standard room in the lodges. Okay. So we have two different facilities that we're doing. As the story progresses, new rooms and facilities are revealed. You can view rooms and facilities for each property through the manage in menu, and you can also add new ones. So manage in ability to add a revealed facility to the end. You need to have a certain level of ability in operation, service, and food. Each facility has a different type of level of ability required acted. Each ability level increases as guests use the facilities and events are solved in the stage. If the facility meets the requirements, you can use a token to add it to the end. To do this, you need to use a token from the same guild as the lodge that the facility belongs to. Tokens can be earned by completing goals in the stage. So yeah, so we've got two rooms. A regular pub. We don't. We, we could add a regular pub here. We can add a regular room. Interesting. Okay, so I think we should add a regular room. So let's expand that. But we're going to add a pub here. All right, this week's goal, welcome to, uh, I love the money, you must not run into each other, okay. Uh, how the talks go? For now we've secured space with for a room and a pub, just one of each. One of each, hmm. We've just started the business, we should be thankful we've come this far. Well, we sure attract more investment once our inn starts performing better and building a name for itself. Here, here. All right, let's go make some money. Uh, so this is beginner's luck. None of, luckily, none of our ventures from either guild ran into each other last week. To be honest, there weren't a lot of guests. We'll now have to attract more customers in order to make more money with our beginner's luck hold out. Alright. So, eight. Eight. Um, although, we'll have to send it to him. Fill the number, the money, the field money in hand is always nice, so we need him. That's probably the dragon. Uh, they must not run into each other, so we have no battles. Alright. Hmm. I don't think there's any way we're avoiding a fight this time. What should we do? It's never too late to make a run for it. If it's time you need, I can buy you more than enough. Hmm. I've got it. Made up your mind? Want me to go out now? No, no. Let's just tr let the fight happen. Huh? What are you talking about? We have some gear in storage, right? We probably have a thing or two in there that could be used. Then that settles it. But I can't fight. I'd rather just grab the gear and make for the hills. Hey, I wasn't expecting you to fight. Anyway, it's not like I can fight either. Right. If we're in for a fight, I'd rather go out and fight by myself. And any any other ideas? Hehe. <laughs> oh man, I totally should have booked it out of here when I had the chance. Um... Uh, huh, no, let's focus on the battle for now. Uh, okay, so we're just going to execute. We're just going to let them come in. And they're going to fight. So, what's the plan? Just tell me now. I can buy you enough time to make a run for it. Nah, that won't be necessary. Excuse me, Wisp. It's part of your contract to protect us. Can you lend us a hand? You'd suffer losses too if you weren't if you, we were put out of business, right? So, I don't need 
So I don't need help? Uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Better. We've got a long way to go and can't expect you to help out every time something like this happens. We need to find a way that's stable and sustainable. Well, in that case... Uh, battle. The battle continues until all of the adventures on either side are down and is resolved within the turn in which the battle occurs. You will know the approximate result of the battle before it begins. Adventurers who end up in this battle will be suspicious of the end's double dealing. If you help either side, the adventurers you helped will lose their suspicion of the end, but the adventurers on the other side will be convinced of the end's double dealing. You can now use guards in combat. Armed Wisps will participate in battle, aiding the selected faction. If you decide to help either side, you can have you have to make sure they win. Helping the disadvantaged side can be more rewarding than helping the advantaged side, but keep in mind that you may lose. If the situation warrants, you can also choose not to help and just watch. You can see how the outcome of the battle changes depending on whom you help in the battle. If you do not, you can always change your mind before the battle begins. If you do not wish to take a side, you can press the aid button, in this case the guard button, again to cancel. If you wish to change sides, you will need to cancel your selection first and then select a side to help again. Whichever side wins, rumors will spread among adventurers of the winning guild that a battle has occurred. If this rumor spreads more than a certain number of times, it can cause trouble. Take note that avoiding battle is always is more helpful in many ways. All right, best of luck. Uh, do I want to? They seem pretty evenly matched. When probably, okay, hold on, hold on. One probability is 100% if I put it on that side. Or 100% probability on this side. So let's, let's go ahead and start the battle. Nice censoring there. Whoa, look at them go. You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? What do you mean? It's obvious we're favoring one side. What if some? What if somebody sees that? Like who? What do you mean, who? The other side. Dead men tell no tales. It's kind of callous. Uh, let's hurry and clean this up before the other adventurers see what happened. Way to go, Sarah. Uh, so yeah, we're going to end the battle. Don't get caught working with both sides. Both guilds' level of suspicion must not exceed a certain point. A warning appears when the level reaches the maximum limit. Uh, depending on the results of the battle or what happened during certain events while managing the end, adventurers can either begin to suspect your business or build up trust in it. You can view how much each guild trusts or suspects the inn through the suspicion meter at the bottom of the screen. It's possible the inn would have to shut down if it receives too much suspicion. Always keep an eye on each guild's suspicion meter. meter. Uh, let's put that there. Let's do... there and then we'll do oh, I only have two wisps okay oh not enough wisps okay I guess I only have two Let's have 
food and we're going to oh no because I need both of them to do that one okay So the mountain lodge and the sea sil lodge. I like the I like the artwork. Uh, a flea market is being held at the beach in Port City. Okay, apparently a flea market is being held in Port City. I want to go and get some tasty eats. And who would watch the inn? Hey, I didn't say I was actually going. I know my job. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's all go together some other time. Oh, hold on a sec. We could set up a stall to try and sell stuff. It'd be a good way to help promote the inn. Okay, so while running the inn, certain events may occur. Results may vary depending on the choices you make. Take note that there's a time limit for each event. So who should participate in the flea market? Uh, beach flea market. So let's go ahead and participate in that. Okay, okay, so we're going to send someone over there. Um, let's do that, and then we'll also have that. Okay. Let's execute that. Yeah, we can go ahead and execute that. Then there's going to be a fight. Do I want to help any of them? If, oh, I don't have enough wisps anyway. All right. In the battle, they're going to come on in. Alright, so we have enough Seaside Guild. Uh, we were able to make a profit. We There were adventures that took interest in the inn. Awesome. So that means we're going to have more interest over here. Let's set a sign up here. We'll do a drink there, which will probably mean let's do that. use of facilities some facilities may visit the inn or some adventures may visit the inn just to use the facilities these adventurers will always use these facilities and want to tip more can we move that down no um, I don't think we can do much of anything other than just let them have at Uh, yeah, we're going to continue and those will go in. Special guest, word about the newly opened pub has spread among the Mountain Guild adventurers. This adventurer known is known for drinking visits at the pub. Alright, let's see what kind of beer they got. Optional goals, unlike the ones required, do not need to be completed. However, they can't earn rewards for doing so. Master Adventures pay more in tips compared to Expert Adventures. Also, a special event occurs while they are staying at the end. Alright, so... We can do that. 
we do that, we can actually get more in. Adventurer walks to the cafe, stares at the menu for a while, and then opens his mouth. Um, I don't know, do you want, do you recommend something? Uh, there's coffee. Food ability increased. Fame for the Mountain Guild increased. Food ability increased. Uh, we'll do juice. So we've made at least 400. Uh, I don't know what's good. You okay? Left the cafe. They left the cafe satisfied. Um. Yeah, they're not. They're gonna just move down to here. Uh, so we definitely should have the sign right here. So all of those guys will go there. If I do that... Okay, so let's go ahead and... Special guest successfully visited the inn. Apparently, he is renowned for his skill and has made quite a name for himself among his fellow adventurers. If he puts in a good word for us, it'll do wonders for the inn. Uh, so, cups crash. You hear a loud noise from the cafe. Duran throws his bag in the room and ran towards the pub. Hey, give me the best beer you got. What should we serve him? Uh, doesn't really matter. We'll do... Do a lager. Uh, we'll... Not enough time to process, so we'll have to clean that up later. And I don't have enough room for those guys. Haha, <laughs> this beer is amazing. You like beer too? I never say no to good beer. Alright, we decided to clean up after we closed shop. I know it's a bit of an eyesore, but we're shorthanded. Um, I love the way the coolness hits my throat. That's the stuff. Fortunately, Duran seems to have liked it. Reaction like that should help spread about the end. So very good on that. We have day five. So I believe this is the end of the week, maybe? No. Uh, we're gonna set up a drink. And then that one, and then we'll do a food stall here. Uh, we're going to execute. And then I can't really do anything other than... I could do that, but I don't know what that is. Um, what is... What is that? I don't know what that is. Okay. So let's let's go ahead and just execute. I don't know what else I can do. Uh, menu recommendation. Adventure, adventurer walks into the cafe, stares at the menu for a while, and then opens his mouth. Um, he wants something... 
Let's do some tea. If I do that, I'll be able to have everything there. And we can just do that and they will continue to move on. Uh, now I get caught working for both sides. Fortunately, nothing bad happened. Now, I'm not sure what to do to lower the suspicion. Another successful week. Huh. That was one heck of a week. Huh. That was nothing. I thought working at the inn would be boring. But it was so much fun. We've only just begun, if it doesn't bode well, if you're already having a hard time. No kidding. Ah, oh, jeez. By the way, there were guests that came in when we didn't have the signboard up. Sounds like the word is out about our inn. That's good to hear. Okay, should we ask for more help? For successful soft opening? Wispy! I have a feeling that this is minimum gold for the commission, 1800. Max gold for the commission, okay. We can build the train room in the lodges of the Sea and Mountain Guilds. Oh, thank goodness. I was hoping for a place to warm up. Hey, it's for the guests. Pout. You know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't wear out. I need to keep practicing to keep my senses sharp. Well, that makes sense. Then you'll only use it when there are no guests. Don't forget to clean up after yourself. Yay! All right, so manage in. What is this? Oh, a training room. Okay. Okay, so we've got three and three. So I could do a training room on each of them. I really would like to be able to expand that, but... Okay, so they've got a regular pub, and they've got a training room. Which is the basics, but sufficient for warming up and assessing one's physical condition before heading off to the dungeon. So it looks like we are having sun, rain, sun, rain, sun. Uh, Sarah, by the way, yeah, there's a little problem. What problem? We're halfway through the soft opening period. We haven't even collected half the money to send to the dragon. Is this going to be okay? Oh, don't worry. No problem. We're doing well, even though we just started with just a small s selection. We've got more facilities than at the beginning, and we've advertised at the flea market, so we'll have even more customers. Look, we made more money last week than we did the first week. This week, we're going to make even more money than last week. And next week, we're going to make more money than this week. So don't worry at all. Yes, no need to worry. Rather... I'm more excited to see how much money I have left after paying the commission. I want to buy something delicious with the extra money. Yeah, it'll work out. So commission. Each month, Sarah must pay commission uh, pay commission to the dragon. The promised amount of gold coins. Don't worry. As long as you make it to the end of each week, you'll have the minimum amount of gold. If she sends more than the promised amount of gold to the dragon, she'll receive a special token in return that will help her run the inn. So one more step. There was a tiny incident last week, but we did okay, right? It was a small mishap. It won't affect the business. It's already been two weeks since we installed the first sign. And in two more weeks, we'll see the results of the first trial. We're doing okay at this rate, but we might as well get a bit greedy and aim for better results. Yeah, someone's going to catch on. Okay, so I love the mine. Okay, so we want to get 500. Fewer than three battles. Okay. Gain fame with Seaside Guild. Okay, fame with Mountain Guild. Hand out some pamphlets. We'll need to advertise more since, we, since we're doing our soft opening. <coughs> we need more guests. I'm thinking we should pass out pamphlets in the city. What do you think? That's a great idea. I'll do it. Where do you think you're going? You need to stay and watch the end. Oh, man. Hmm. Where should I hand them out? Highland City or Port City? 
Can't we just hand them out in both cities? Uh, that'll double the costs. But also double the profits. We're shorthanded as it is, though. We'll just work with a tighter schedule. But I'd be a nervous wreck the whole time. Fine. Let's just hand out the pamphlets in one city. Okay. So here, we're going to go to Highland City. Because we did the flea market at Port City last time. Okay, so here... Actually, if we do... Let's do the food cart here. And... We'll do drinks. It looks as though they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna go ahead and go in. And they're gonna go on down. So we could do that. And then we would actually have this it's like a weak adventure okay they look like a potato uh should we, okay we hand out some cities that should help get the word out a game of arm wrestling an adventurer approaches the training room proudly showing off their muscles okay, what do we have should we accept the challenge sure if we do this, but the sign is down, so that might not necessarily indicate. I left the train room massaging their forearm with a satisfied look, okay? Um, and it's raining. It's raining. Days like this are the worst. Uh, certain areas of the map are affected differently by weather. The area changes differently. When it rains, muddy road appears. They hinder the movement of adventures. Okay, good to note. I want to do this. No. What if I do this right here? That gave me two there. Yeah, now let's execute that. Okay, but we don't have the whole, you need to have like four people or whatever. We're going to have a food stall right here. And we can put there. So we're going to have. Yeah, I need to. I really like to be able to do that. It seems that. Okay, so we gained the, the we gained the prestige or whatever from mountain top, hilltop, whatever. Uh, charity event is launched. Okay, so these are the events. Uh, might be a good idea to visit for the sake of reputation, although it's kind of hard to decide where to go since they're op opening simultaneously. So here we have provide help. We can confirm that one. And let's see if we could do... Both of those. We've got food. Okay, looks like we've got... Yeah. 
yeah, that's gonna be. Jimmy, it's always liked by. Okay. Okay, so that helped reduce their suspicion. We have a raccoon person. And it's raining. the food pull them over yes it does let's sue let's give them something something to eat there Black market opened in Port City. Hmm. Hey, Butter. Yeah. We keep the gear we salvaged from the last battle, didn't we? Yeah. I put it all in storage over there. What if we sold it? Say what now? We have to remove all the traces of any battles anyway. So it. So I'm saying if we can't just sell everything in storage and we can't just stuff everything in storage each time there's a fight. So we may as well just sell all the gear onto the black market. If we choose our buyers carefully, who's going to find out? Fine. Do as you see fit. Yeah, it's going to raise suspicion, but... And we're going to have a... We're going to fix it and have a fight. Um, okay, so, but I don't think I have any whisks, so we're just going to be able to, we're just going to have to fight like so. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so this one is way up. All right. But we did get our points in for Seaside. Day five. Um, let's throw a sign here. Uh, we can do, no, we can't do that one. Right there. I like that. All right, we made 240, but suspicion rose up three. Profits were good, although it may have aroused suspicion among any keen eye adventurers. Uh, crap, we got caught red handed. But we're still pulled in a ton of cash, so it's no big deal. Just gotta keep up from getting caught next time. Sip, sure thing. Uh, someone's asking for menu recommendations. We'll do food. We'll just do food ability. No, we'll do juice. Because that gets us a little bit of coin. And that got us some of our... Smell of grass, which is herbal tea. Okay, so we have this. Um, actually, lavender sounds really good right now. Yeah, we're gonna stop everyone right there. Why do I get the feeling that that? Arthur slowly but fiercely walks into uh, 
Um, who could pass up a cookie? No, hold on. What? Side story. Cheerful cobra that enjoys singing and dancing. Wait, do these all have... Rabin Hood. Cheerful bunny archer who wears a hat and arrow... Uh, Archmage on his path to find the legendary blue dragon. Well, we're, I think, on a red dragon. Uh, okay, well, they've still got that, so hopefully... Let's execute this. Alright, I probably should have... Oh, well, I couldn't have gotten him anyway because we're out of space. Uh, but I had no guests on the Mountain Guild Lodge. So we have another successful week. Alright, time to pack up. Everyone, good job. Somehow we made it through the week. This is getting intense. Psh, nothing happened. There's nothing to worry about, especially not after we get the hang of it. Exactly. And we will in no time. Let's clean this up and get some rest. Alright, well, I made it enough to at least appease the dragon. So we got a letter from C and Mountain Guilds. A letter, what's it say? Let's see here. I hope it's not about what happened last week or the fight the week prior or the black market dealings. However, there's just so many things. Apparently, their representatives are going to visit the inn this week. I knew it. They found out what's going on. It's all over. I knew this was going to happen. See? This is why I told you we shouldn't get into this sort of business. It's not what you're thinking. The guilds are coming to give us a certificate. A certificate? For what? Sure, it's a death certificate. Adventures from both sides are going to come hunt us down. Maybe we should run for it. No, there's no way we get away. Or maybe we should let the two guilds fight each other and we wait for the chance to escape. Hey, pull yourself together. It's a certificate of recommendation. It says our inn is perfect for their guild's novice adventures. Seems some of our guests take a liking to it there. Ah, a certificate of recommendation. Yes, a certificate of recommendation. I see you're coming back to your senses. So when are they coming? Uh, in about two or three days. I think the Seaside Guild will arrive a day sooner. That's a relief. They're not coming the same day. For sure. That's a, that'll lessen the chances of them running into each other. We still have to stay vigilant. We're going to make sure they don't spot anyone from the opposing guild. It'll be tough, but at least the last week is the last week of our soft opening. Let's buckle down and get through this. Alright, so we can add this. And we get just enough that we can also expand to there. So we have two identical. And these are probably like additional like dorm rooms. Dormitory regular rooms. Okay. I guess these are... Okay, these are the odds the event happens. Uh, yeah, Seaside is a lot more suspicious though. All right, good news and bad news. Not everything comes, not everything always goes the way we want it to. Well, that's what makes it fun. Hardships can come at any time, so can good fortune. It's the last week. Let's see our soft opening through till the end. So I love money. So we need to earn at least five hundred. At least 22 visitors must visit the inn, regardless of whether they are... Okay. The soft opening ends this week. Hang in there, fellas. Okay. If we do a drink... But I feel like I'm already... What if we do that and a drink with that? No, that would not. If I did that, that means I'm gonna have a battle. So, let's do a drink here. 
and a food there. And then I want... So I'm kind of almost wanting to ignore Mountainside for the time being. We're just going to execute that. Oh, I don't really need that right now. Let's execute that one more time. Two, so you have like literally a burr or a sticker. We're going to do that. We're going to also give a drink there. If we do a food stall there, because I think that gives us a little bit of some income. Okay. Uninvited room in the training room. Uninvited guests in the training room. Uh, visitors coming from the seaside guests to deliver a certificate. Make sure nothing happens to arouse suspicion. Uh, this is what you call Abathur slowly but fiercely walks into the cafe. Okay. Their representatives just departed. Got it. We have to make sure we don't run into any mountains guild. Uh, there are special guests that come to the inn without the intention of staying the night. The corresponding guests don't use rooms or facilities. Okay. So we'll do... What is a service ability increase? Yeah, we're going to do an herbal tea for you. And... What can go wrong? Stand back and watch. Fame decreases, but we earn gold. Uh, yeah, we can use a wisp this time to stop him. Alright, Carl smacks his lips to disappoint him again, working out with his bear hounds. He left out for a short while. Okay. And... It looks like Rosemary. Okay. So that's good. We can do that and then we can have that one maybe. Okay. Nobody from Mountain Guild yet. I don't know if I got... Um, success. A visitor from the seaside has arrived at the inn. They hand you an envelope and depart for Port City. So we have minus 20 suspicion plus 10 representatives. Okay. Woo. Okay. That, that got a bit. Uh, we're going to slow these guys down. Uh, make a snacks. Mountain. Okay, so this is going to be a chance. Of course, the mountainside, we really don't have that many. Uh, so the mountain guild guy just reported, Roger that. We have to make sure they don't run into any seaside guild ventures along the way. Alright, snacks. Uh, the adventurer says the adventurer is looking for something to go with a drink and order something that's not on the menu. Okay, question mark, but food about I'm I'm intrigued. What's the worst that could happen, right? 
Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to get all of those. And should we do that? We might be able to get, we might get all of them. Uh, the venture made the new dish you made. Or the venture liked the new dish we made. Uh, so we're going to execute that again. Okay, we did make our money. So we did. it looks like we did make, make, make all of our... Our goal. Uh, adventures visit the end. Okay, we definitely need... Four more? I could do that. Because there's going to be one. Uh, well, those guys are both going to make it down there. So, let's see. No, there's no sense in doing that. I mean, I could do this, but... Yeah. So we get our mountainside certificate. Our Highland City, sorry. Minus 20, but 10, which removes all suspicion from them. So we have two new events. Hesitation. Uh, provide free food. Adventure makes it made as if to speak several times before finally getting some words that can I have some free food sure uh, sorry but do you have a stiffer pillow I can't sleep with a soft pillow we'll replace it for free Uh, yeah, we're going to execute because then the that, all right hesitation profit may take a hit, but we could think of it as a marketing expense. Yeah, okay, expresses his gratitude. Awesome. Nope, we have no means of getting anybody unless we. That gets us one more. We just need two more people in, honestly. Uh, next day is sunshiny, but I should have my sign. It's the final business day of our soft opening. Let's take one last look and see what we can improve and get to the finish line. Um, I was going to put this there, which would get us our two last individuals that we need. Uh, enough visitors, visitors visited the inn. Duran swung open the doors and entered the pub. Of course he would. Uh, beer. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a lager. And there's more adventurers. Ah, uh, that's the stuff. So we got eight on there. We could... Now, if we do this... Um, okay, so we could have... No, because he's already there. Uh, we're only going to get one... One or the other. So let's go ahead and grab one... Of these guys. Yeah, 
Yeah, a lot of different... Okay, so we have another successful week. Oh, that's a wrap. Whew, thank goodness that went off without a hitch. Good job hanging in there, everyone. You too, Wispy. Make sure you write about our certificates in the weekly report. I'll post it somewhere in the lobby for everyone to see. Alright, then. Why don't we let loose? It's been a while since we've had any fun. Hurrah, time for some delicious grub. Don't we need to clean up, though? We can do that later. We've got time till the reports come in. Oh, and there's the reports. And we made over... Well, well over what we have to give the dragon. So, monthly statements... We got an S rating. Uh, this is where the demo build ends. Thank you so much for playing. It's a cute game. Some things I'm still not 100% sure on how we're, how it works. But I think that this, this definitely has some really... This is really interesting. Uh, so this is the credits. The music is nice. It fits. And I like the I like the artwork too. Special thanks. I'm guessing Butter, Bammy, Myeongmong, and you. Oh, and then we can do English. Francais and English. Okay. So music, display, and language. So this has been Dungeon In, the demo. So if you like this, go ahead and wishlist this. This is an interesting game. Um, like I said, I'm not 100% sure on the mechanics, but it, it, was, it was starting to click there towards the end. So thank you for watching and have a great day.